Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm here today doing a three-part ritual for the new moon. This can be used for this new moon as well as all new moons throughout the year. This is going to be part one, setting up and preparing for your ritual. The things that you absolutely need and there will be things along the way that I will suggest you add, but these are the things that you will have to have during this video, during this process. Uh, number one is one white candle. Number two is a new notebook or a notebook that you have only used to write your new moon intentions in in the past and an ink pen. That's it. Um, if you have those three things, then you're pretty much set to go. So like I was saying, part one is preparing for your ritual. So the first thing you need to do is to pick out your space. The best space to be is outside, but obviously not everyone can be outside every month of the year. So if you are going to do your ritual inside, I suggest that you pick a room in your home that is quiet and comfortable and where you can be um, uninterrupted throughout this process. So if you do it outside, just anywhere in nature is perfect and you can uh, draw in the energies of Mother Earth from its natural element. So for those of you who are doing your ritual inside, it is key to pick out what room where you're going to do your ritual at. Once you figured out where, then it is time to cleanse your space as well as yourself. This is a process of removing any negative energies that have attached to you or um, anything in your surroundings that you're going to set up your altar and perform your ritual at. So to cleanse your space, you can do it one of three ways. The first is smudging. Smudging is lighting sage and using the smoke of the burning sage to drive out any negative energies and replacing them with positive. So if you have sage, you can use Palo Santo as well, but I do suggest sage because it is affiliated and uh, direct with the moon. So if you do have some sage, you light that, you blow out the flame until it is smoking, then you start with yourself. If you're using the smudging technique, you always need to start with yourself before you can cleanse your space. So you start at the top of your head about six inches above and you just wave the smudge stick around your body all the way from your head. As you're going down your body, make sure you go out under your arms and about two inches uh, under your palm. That'll clear out that, those chakras and then go on the top side uh, and then back down to the soles of your feet. Make sure you smudge uh, one foot at a time, about six inches under the soles of your feet as well. And then you start at the top of your head again and move all the way down to the soles of your feet. As you are uh, cleansing the space around you, ask and call in the elements, earth, wind, fire, water, ether, spirit, to remove any negative energies that have attached to you and replace them with positive energies. Once you have smudged yourself, then you move on to where you are going to set up your altar uh, and call in the elements as well and ask them to remove any negative energies that are in that space that you're going to set up at. The second way is incense. If you have incense sticks, uh, frankincense, lavender, those are the two main ones that I use, but uh, there are other ones that you can use as well. But you do the exact same thing with an incense stick. Uh, if you have an oil diffuser, you can use that as well with essential oils. And you just uh, allow your diffuser to run for a couple minutes to where it has uh, produced enough you know, to where you can really start to smell it, that is a good indication that your space is filled with 
that in that oil and pray to your angels to remove any negative energy that is attached to you in your space and replace it with positive. If you do not have incense or sage or a diffuser, there, there is no worries. You just ask source and your angels to cleanse you in your space. So um, just call in source and the divine uh, angels to remove any negative energy that is attached to you in your space and to replace it with the divine white light and love. And you just picture yourself like flushing out those negative energies and from the top of your head, allow that white sparkly uh, light from the divine to just flow through your body until it fills up every little spot in your body that it possibly can and starts to radiate light and that will cleanse you as well. Okay, so you got where you're going to do your ritual at. You have now cleansed yourself and your space. Now it's time to pick out what you want to set up on your altar. If you're going to do it crisscross applesauce on the floor, I do suggest that you put a tapestry down um, before you put your altar items out just because it it separates it from you know the floor and it it sets out more than just you know, setting out everything on the floor or even a towel would work if you don't have a tapestry. Uh, and then you are going to fill your altar with anything that you feel has a personal connection to what you're trying to manifest in. The one thing I do suggest most importantly to have on your altar is a burning white candle. This uh, brings in purity. It is a, it represents the divine and it just keeps away anything negative and it's just a perfect way to uh, make your altar space that much more sacred. So you have a white candle and that will represent your fire. It also uh, represents your internal flame for um, you know your spark of life. So we will use the candle for fire. Um, I suggest that you have something that represents the four elements of earth, wind, fire, water. It's not necessary. This is all up to personal preference. Like I said, you can have anything on your altar that you want that's close and personal to you. These are just my suggestions. So I put the four elements out. Uh, the candle I use for fire. Air, I use a feather. Um, earth, you can use um, like a little bowl of soil. You can use crystals. You can use a rock you found in your yard. Anything that comes from the ground of Mother Earth, it will represent Earth. Um, what am I missing? Air, fire, oh, water. And water, it can be simply as something as a little bowl of water um, or, you know, a seashell or anything that represents um, the element of water for you. So you have your four elements there. And then, like I said, just anything personal that that has a sacred meaning to you, as well as whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, put all that on your altar that you want. Your altar space is really your personal touches to this ritual. It's what makes this ritual special for you and your connection to the divine to help manifest and co-create these desires and intentions into reality. So make it your own. Have fun with it. Uh, and just enjoy um, preparing, enjoy the setting up of your altar, because that is just as much as part of the ritual as the actual ritual itself. So take some time, put some thought into it, and really put items out there that mean something to you. So that is part one of the manifestation with the new moon energies. Join me for part two.